Hello kindergartners, this week I want to talk all about shape. So when I'm talking about shapes, I'm talking about our basic shapes and I'm sure all of you already know these. Can any of you name some? What about circles, ovals, triangles, rectangles, or squares? Now why are these shapes important to an artist? Well, I'll let you in on a secret. You can make just about anything you can think of using just these basic shapes. So starting in kindergarten, we're going to learn how to use just these shapes to make a picture. And as the year goes on, we're going to keep practicing learning how to use basic shapes as building blocks to build a picture. For this week's project, I want us to take some of those basic shapes that we know to create a rocket ship. Now, if you think of a rocket ship, well, they're, they're really tall, right? So let's use our imaginations. They're really tall. They're, they're pointy on top. What are some shapes you think we could use to build a rocket? Here's one of the ways that I thought of. What kind of shapes do you see in this picture? Can you see all of them? The biggest one. What's the biggest shape that you see? I think it's this rectangle right here. When I'm choosing what shapes to use first when making something, I try to use my imagination and think, what's the biggest shape that I could use first? For this, it's the rectangle. It's the biggest shape in the picture. And then once I got that big shape, I like to build out from there. I wouldn't draw these, I wouldn't draw the wings before I draw these smaller rockets, or else you'd have a weird space in between, right? So first, I'm gonna start with my big rectangle. Then maybe triangle up here. Smaller rockets maybe or maybe smaller triangles. And we can draw the rocket shooting stuff out at the bottom. All sorts of stuff you can do with just some basic shapes. Here are some other designs that are very similar, but see if you can tell the difference. Do they all have the same number of windows? Are all the windows the same size? These windows have two circles. These windows use just one. This one doesn't have any extra rockets. This one doesn't have any wings. You can design your rocket in a whole bunch of different ways. Let's draw one together. This will be our very first picture in our sketchbooks. So I want you to take your sketchbook out and it'll op open it up to the very first page. I like to fold it over so I have just one page to look at. Now we need to start this drawing and we're going to start every drawing this way using a pencil. Why do we want to use a pencil first? Because it can erase. And if we make a mistake, if I used a marker instead, or a crayon, and I made a mistake, I could not use this page anymore. I would want to flip it to the next page. And I feel like that's a waste. When this is still a perfectly good piece of paper. So instead, using a pencil allows us to be able to fix our mistakes without wasting paper. Let's let this focus. There we go. All right, so let's start building our rocket. Now we want to make sure we have room on our paper for all the other details. So we don't want to put a rocket in the bottom corner. Do we want to put it on the side? No. We probably want to put it just in the middle of our paper. That way we have room top, bottom, sides. If I later on want to add more details like planets, stars, Putting in a rocket in the middle gives us room for more details. All right, let's get drawn. First, let's think back to my first example. Can you picture it? 
What shape did I use first to draw that rocket? A big rectangle. Rectangles are drawn with four lines. Don't do it all at once, because then it's going to look more like a rounded rectangle. I think it looks neater if we draw each side first. Ooh. But this would be a really good use for... But I think there is something that I put in your sketchbooks that's going to help us a lot with these lines. Remember this? We're going to use this to help get us nice straight lines. So I was able to get a pretty straight line. But even me, who has had tons of practice, might need help every once in a while getting a perfect straight line. So I'm going to draw one line for one side of my rocket. I'm going to draw my other line right here. And here's what I like to do when I'm holding this down to help me draw a straight line. Just like a ruler, I want to make sure I'm not holding it in one spot so it wobbles all over the place. Instead, I want you to make like an L shape with your hand. An L. With your thumb sticking out. And then you're going to hold it with the top fingers and your thumb on your paper. So you're holding this in two spots. That way, it won't move when you're drawing. Alright, I'm going to draw my one line. So that looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and draw the bottom, or from your angle, top. Everything's upside down, unfortunately. There we go. Oop, I went a little over. It's okay. I used pencil. I can erase it. Next, what kind of shape could I use for the top of my rocket? Triangle. And I want to make sure my triangle is lined up with these two corners here. So here's another thing artists will do when they're holding this to help them draw a straight line. They might line up a corner with the edge like this. See how nice and clean that looks? Let's check that out. Let's do that over here too. And I want to make sure these line up. That's how I would draw a nice, neat triangle. Now, if using this is a little too tricky, you don't have to use it. It's there if you need it, but you can draw this by hand too. It's just a simple triangle. All right, this is where you can be a little more creative. How do you want your rockets to look? Do you want extra booster rockets? Or do you just want simple wings coming off the side? If you want booster rockets, they look just like this, but smaller. So you're just going to draw the same thing, but smaller. So let's do a couple of those booster rockets. It's just a tall, skinny rectangle. And then two smaller triangles. You can add wings if you want to, or you don't have to, if you want to do more like this middle one. I'm going to add some wings though. Then, here's the fun part. We can add lots of details to this rocket, like windows. Or maybe you want to write a word on it. I wrote NASA because that's the name of the space agency that runs all of our outer space stuff. In fact, I'm wearing the shirt right now because I love NASA. I love outer space. However, you can write anything you want here. Instead of NASA, you could write your name. For me, I could write Davies, like it's the Davies rocket ship, like I own a rocket company, which would be really cool. So you can write your name on here, you could add windows, however you want to do it. Go ahead. It's circles for windows. If you want to experiment and use a different shape for a window, you can. I like to add a second one, though, to make it look like it's got a nice, decorative border around it, like a frame. All right, finally, we're almost done. We need to add the actual rockets at the bottom and push the rocket upward. To do these, they're really easy. Look really closely and study how they look. Are these lines straight or are they crooked? They're crooked. So they actually are diagonal outward. And the other side, it's a diagonal outward the other way. Kind of like the bottom of a triangle. Like we, there is a triangle here that we can't see. So it's kind of a triangle shape. Instead, though, of having the bottom of your triangle be straight, 
we're gonna have it curved. So go ahead and curve that. And then you'll have the bottom of a rocket. I actually added several different ones on this one. Or you can just have one big one. That's up to you. All right, we have our rocket completely drawn. Good job. Next, I want us to think about the space around it. What else could you add? Are there stars? Are there planets? Maybe I'll draw Earth here. Draw us continents. There's Florida, Mexico, South America. Maybe there's a little bit of Africa there. Let's see, I could do Saturn over here with its big letter C-shaped ring going around it. And you can do little tiny stars, draw little tiny circles. Don't just do them all in a row, spread them out. Put one here, and whoa, way, way over there, and over here. Bounce around your paper and add tons of little tiny circles. Maybe one of these circles, one of these stars, is a comet. Draw some lines coming off of it, like it's shooting through the air. All right, oh, and I'm gonna add a moon too, because I love the moon. If you've never drawn the moon before, it's basically two letter C's inside of each other with the points touching. All right, once you've completed your rocket ship and you added all those details, we're gonna take a break. Next week, we're gonna talk about how to add the fire coming out of the bottom and how to add color. So once you get to this point, I want you to take a picture of it with your iPad and post it into this week's Seesaw activity. All right, I'll see you next week.